Something's Hello. happening. Here he is, Mike. How are you? Good, good. Thank you. How are you? We could do something. If you go down a bit and I go up, it could be like the bottom of my mouth and the top of your head. Could be a good look. I don't think my head fits in this thing. So I'm, I'm <laughs> using. I've got one of those camera stand things. I've just pulled it up. I've, I've realised my head is just too big. I think I'm using my stand. Stand up desk, so I was going to crouch <laughs> like that. But it was okay. a bit too much of a squat. Yeah, I think this works. I think it works. We're, we're okay now. So, Mike, tell us and me about you quickly because obviously we're internet friends, as they say. I thought this yeah. guy, Mike, he teaches English, he likes peep show, he likes football. I thought yeah. this guy, I need to get him involved. What so guy? tell, tell us something yeah about yeah what what a great introduction thank you for that hello everybody if you don't know me my name is mike and i teach english in korea where i live and on the internet which is fun i want to teach people real useful everyday english the sort of stuff that you can use with friends when traveling at the pub normal english how about you martin Introduce yourself, please. Similar common kind of vibe, I suppose. Less exciting now I live in the UK. I was living in Italy. I lived there for 12 years. And I felt mm -hmm. more exciting. I felt I had more something about me when I told right. people, yeah, I'm English, but I live in Italy. You've always yeah. got that ex exotic thing as a foreigner, haven't you? Yeah, people yeah. Like, he's the foreigner. Ooh. Okay. But <clears throat> now, I, now I'm back in the UK. It's just, I'm just another boring idiot, really. But yeah, being in the online teaching game a while, it's great. <laughs> I didn't actually Can't see this. the top of your head. That's nice. Very cool. So let's jump straight into it because we mentioned about the English people use on the streets. We've got some slang terms here. Something else I thought we could add to it is talk about how common this term is because sometimes you see things which are not really used right. so much. I'll say the term, I'll ask if anyone knows. My questions to you, Mike, will be how often is it used and what does it mean? Okay. And just give me, obviously, your definition, because it's not actually easy to give definitions, is it? People think it no. is, but it's not. I'll give quite like a fluffy sort of woolly vague <laughs> definition, because I haven't prepared anything, and then we'll see what people say, right? That's yeah, a fluffy and for anyone definition. watching, you could write in the comments, you know, your feeling about the slang or where you've heard it before. Try to put it in a sentence. That would be great. So, yes, we, we will go and go with the flow, really. You give your fluffy definition. Then I also got a definition from chat GPT, which Ooh. maybe is more of a like, solid definition, let's say. <laughs> but we'll, we'll start with your fluffy one and then I'll right. narrow it down. So the okay. first one. Okay. Right. To be buzzing. So oh, I'm yes. buzzing. So, to be buzzing. What am I doing? Give a definition. So, yeah, fluffy definition and how often is it used? Okay, right. So, to be buzzing. I feel like it's when we're excited about something, maybe looking forward to something or... Yeah, like that sort of feeling, you know, when you're really enjoying something. I might say, for example, I'm buzzing to be here with you and all our wonderful viewers. Yeah. I'm buzzing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, almost exact definition from chat GPT there. To be excited or enthusiastic about something. So your that... fluffy definition was pretty damn good. Well, um, and great example as well there. I am buzzing for this new documentary that I've seen coming out next week. David Beckham documentary. Ooh. Have you heard about this on yeah, Netflix? Yeah, okay. No, I haven't. I only okay. found out about it today, actually. And okay. so I am absolutely buzzing. For buzzing that. for it. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, we've just got Matt Fluent Football here. He must know who David Beckham is. Um, so is, is Matt buzzing for the documentary? I don't normally... Yeah, 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 good. But yeah, anyone who's got any feelings about buzzing let us know in that comment section there try to use it in a sentence as well and we will tell you if it's correct so i'm buzzing to go to genoa perfect yeah go. absolutely very cool beautiful and so the next one okay to have a knees up i, I like this oh, term right yeah to have a knees up I mean, it's quite a strange one, right? I've thought about this one before. When we say, 
oh, I'm having a knees up. It just sounds really weird, right? Definitely. Um, Does anyone know what it yeah, the, means? Well, the fluffy definition, I'm guessing, is having a party, yeah. right? Exactly. I mean, I, um, I'd say that's what it is, having a knees up, having a party. Perhaps. Absolutely. So, Jack GPT, to have a lively and enjoyable party or Ooh. celebration. Okay. To, I think cool. it's a nice, funny way to talk about having a party, isn't it? Just, say, oh, yeah. just to let you know, next week at my house, I'm having a bit of a knees up for my wife's birthday. Yeah. If you want to come along. Yeah. I mean, I think it's funny, right? Because I'm guessing from your accent, you're from Southern England. Correct. Essex. Oh, I'm from Kent. Oh, right. So that's right. So the way that we use slang, the slang that we use is maybe a bit different to, to the slang that they might use in the north of England. So Absolutely. I don't know if northerners would say having a knees up. Um, a good what might they point. say? I was going to try a northern accent yeah. there and see if yes. it sounded correct. But then Do I it. thought, no, I don't want to embarrass myself. Okay. So... Uh, yeah, would they say knees up? Oh, I'm not sure. I think they, um, they might say piss up. Are we allowed to say that? Is that okay? It's fine for me. All right. For me, though, piss up can be more of even just going out with your friends. You can go up, you can go out for a piss up, whilst a knees up is more of a party, as we said. So I've just written it, Global Book Lovers, that's me. I'm sort of okay. spying on the chat with another thing. Also, this is my cat. Um, oh, wow. She, I really wish she wasn't here, but she wants to be part of it. So... Hello everyone, apologies for your cat, any cat, noise man. that you might hear. She's here for a knees up. She heard knees up and she was like, yeah, let's have, let's have a knees up. She's buzzing. Apologies, everyone. So I will write on my, the, you might see global book lovers. I okay. will write the comments in there, right? So anybody, if you're curious, you can see them there. Very good. What's your cat's name, by the way? That cat's name is Lily. Right. Uh, yeah, we saw rescue, just finding cats on, yeah, it's a rescue cat, oh, wow. found her on the street, what, yeah. What, what a good citizen of the world you are, Mike. Goes uh, out rescuing yeah. cats. I tell you what, I tell you what's interesting. Oh, so you're going to give us the definition of knees up, right? I think, did I, I can't remember, to have a lively and enjoyable party or celebration, okay. according to chat, chat GBD, and exactly what you said. Good. Two for two. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Right. Okay, so let's go to this one, actually. Yeah. Full of beans. Ooh. This is a nice one. Ooh. Well, Lily, as you can see right there, is full of beans, right? She's full of beans. So again, it's a strange one. It's a bit of a strange thing that we say. But if someone has a lot of energy, right, we say they're full of beans. Lily is full of beans, right? But what sort of beans? Do you think we mean... Baked beans. I've just seen yeah. that. So uh, Zoe said, Martin is buzzing to touch the cat. Um, I think I know Zoe and I, I don't have a good relationship with animals. So I <laughs> believe that was a, a sarc sarcastic comment. I would be too scared to touch the cat. Okay. All right then. Yeah. But, right. So not full of beans about touching no. a cat, no? Fair enough. No. But um, again, fluffy definition was perfect. To be energetic lively or enthusiastic right what gets you full of beans then martin when do you feel full of beans so i thought about this so oh, it went a bit too fast speaking of cats one of the expressions yeah. i love the most is there's no room to swing a cat right yeah that's a strange one isn't it there's i specifically remember someone saying that to me on the tube once i was like this and she yeah. said to me like can you move there's not enough room to swing a cat here I was right. thinking, look, I'm squashed against you. I didn't choose to stand against that's you. Right. And yes, I also wouldn't want to swing a cat here. Yeah. It's, that's a very strange one, it, isn't it? It is, it is. I mean, why would you have a cat on the underground anyway? And, <laughs> and why would you swing it? Why would anyone swing a cat? <laughs> that's, the main, <laughs> that's the main thing. Yeah, um, doesn't make sense. Yeah. But, so going back to the beans, yeah, I thought of a good example of this. Yeah. A few months ago, I yeah. was going out with my brother and friend and I thought right I am really up for this because I've got two small children but I had the whole day I thought brilliant and I was walking there I was full of beans running to the train station got on the train and then I realized I got on the train in the wrong direction and 
then I was not so full of beans. But walking out, I was like, wow, like this is going to be amazing. <laughs> Um, okay and yeah it wasn't so yeah why would you even swing a cat by the tail exactly the nice. that's that's the strange one isn't it so okay the next one this i love this term to get mugged off Ooh. obviously that's you receive the action you can right. the opposite you can mug someone off right Fluff, fluffy definition Ooh. it is Ooh, right that to is get, a tough one to, to, to get mugged off it's such a weird one right because Mug, we think about mug like the cup, you know, yeah. a, a mug, or sometimes we say mug to be like face, mm. but to mug someone off means to, I don't know, to, to like insult them, maybe, or trick them. Make trick them is feel... a good word. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's that's, a, that's the, the direction I think we need to go in, the trick. So right. it says here, to be deceived, so to yeah. be tricked, the same thing, fooled or right. made a fool of. So someone makes you look a bit stupid. Right. Let's right. See. That's the one it makes me think of because I play a bit of football and I think of myself, I'm pretty handy. I'm all right. You know, I'm an all right. I wouldn't call myself a baller, but I'm <laughs> solid. Right. I'm solid. I'm, I'm a standard footballer. And, and I was out playing. And, and a lad, he kicked the ball through my legs, Ooh. you know, he, he, he did a trick on me, yeah. a nutmeg, he put it through my legs, and he was about 15 years younger than me as well. Ooh, and yeah. I just felt, I just felt like he'd mugged me off. Yeah. You know, I really felt like he mugged me off, you know? Yeah, yeah, like, because he made you look a bit stupid, exactly. Right. Yeah, my example of this, actually, I spoke about this in a podcast. I went to a church fair when I was living in Sicily, <laughs> and it was like a Christmas bazaar thing. Right. Um, like a little market in the church, all like but feeling very Christmassy. Oh. I bought something that cost three euros. I gave them five. Right. They gave me a two, two euro coin. <laughs> I, I just put it straight in my pocket. And then later right. I went to spend that money yeah. and yeah. realised that it wasn't a two euro coin they gave me a 500 lira coin which was from like 20 years ago <laughs> so i got mugged off by the church they gave me oh yeah money the church mugged you off yeah exactly wow uh, all right well that is a proper mugging i i, I was absolutely devastated absolutely yeah. devastated that they gave me fake money i still actually have that coin <laughs> just to tell people the story about it. And also because I can't spend it anywhere. That's true. So, but if you hold on to it for about a hundred years, it might be worth about two exactly. euros, right? Exactly. Long game, play the long game, exactly. just like the church. Not long to go. Okay. Um, so here is one, which is actually quite common. So someone said here, two of the best English teachers. So thank you for that. So K-Boy84. K-Boy. Uh, this I do hear quite a lot, especially in something we both enjoy, football to bottle something <laughs> what does it mean as a verb obviously a bottle right. I, I can show you a bottle that's what we normally think yeah. of when we think of a bottle but to bottle something what does that mean right to bottle something oh again it's a tricky one when you bottle something it's like you fail fail it right mm -hmm. you you fail it because you, um, I don't know, like you sort of, maybe you don't have the confidence to do it or you don't have the skill. Or maybe courage as well, I think. You okay. don't have the courage to do something. So going back to bottling something, I would say something when you don't have the courage to do something. So chat GPT says to back out or fail to do something due to fear or hesitation. How about you? Have you ever bottled anything? Yeah, I think, I don't think it's, that's not, okay. it's not a positive thing. Is it? <laughs> it's not if, if you say to someone you bottled it, <laughs> it's not it's not a compliment. Put it that right. way. Right. Right. I mean, go back to football again. But, you know, <laughs> English famously English footballers taking penalties, oh. massive bottlers, always bottling it. Yeah. Right. And you could call that person a bottle job, couldn't you? Bottle job, you could, you could. <laughs> Apologies, the, the cat is back. Can you please go away? Uh, <laughs> right, yeah, no, like, yeah, bottlers, like all of them, they bottled it, they bottlers. Bottled it. Bottled so here's it. one. Would you, would you say bottle or bottle? 
for, so, for you personally? So yeah, if if I'm doing an English teaching thing, I'd probably say bottle because I think I have to be. But yeah, if I'm talking to some friends, bottle, bottle job, bottle, bottle job, innit? Um, and right. the classic bottle of water. Bottle. Um, in bottle fact, water. I, I've got a like empty bottle of water here. Right. Because so someone said to me once, a friend he said, I know. I don't feel comfortable around someone if I feel I need to pronounce my T's. And I think that's a good way of looking at it because if I have a job interview or something like that, I think we'll right. pronounce my T's here. Right. But talking normally, yeah. Because it, it's effort for me. I have to like properly think. I'm, and if I don't think and I just talk, T's are too much right. for me. Too right. much. Right, then as you know. Exactly. Yeah. But my, my bottling story, I once, this was quite embarrassing, went swimming when I was like 25 or something okay. like this. With a friend, we decided to go swimming one day because we had nothing to do. And there were diving boards. You had the first one, the middle right. one, and the top one. The top one was really high. Right. And we got to the top. Neither of us wanted to do it. But I thought, I don't want to walk down those stairs. Because if you walk right. down the stairs, you have bottled it big time. What a shame. It. Oh, yeah. Exactly. And there were like, eight-year-olds jumping off it as well so <laughs> so i did it and then my friend bottled it and just had Ooh. to do the walk of shame and that presumably but, you afterwards you didn't you never mentioned it to him again oh, yeah. you certainly never, wouldn't yeah. go on a live instagram video and announce that he yeah. did that right because well, that was well, yeah uh, i didn't mention the name so no I, I have spared him i have spared him that as well so okay here, here's probably my favorite so yep. when people say to have it and so to obviously have then have it large right um, and people often say like go large as well don't they right but what does this mean right to have it i feel like there's loads of sort of slight ways that you can do this right so to have it in this case means to have like a big party? Well, so have it large. I, I, should, I should have probably yeah to have it large. So uh, in more context of like yeah we, we were having it last night. Or, right. Yeah, having it large. Large. Having it large. Having a big end. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so well for me it means like crazy night out to have right. it large. So, so you've written it there. Right. Global book lovers <laughs> uh, to have like a a really crazy night out for me. Yeah. That's where I would hear that. I've been having it large, having a big one. Yeah. yeah, to have like a big party, a big night, have it large. Yeah, the memory that comes to me from this story, I was at a music festival okay. and we were, in, we were in the dance tent. So it was quite late at night. So you can imagine things, things are going off. And I was with a friend and then there was someone that we didn't know that kept yeah. coming up to us, yeah. referring to us as as lads, which lads, all right, lads, yeah, yeah, slang term again, say like boys, let's say, yeah, and said to us, Are we having it or what? And we were like, Yeah, yeah. And then <laughs> five, five minutes later, he, come, he came over again, same question, Are we having it or what? Yep, still having it, yeah. And then he came over again, and I'll never forget my friend saying, Look, we will tell you when we stop having it, okay? <laughs> you don't need, you don't need to ask. <laughs> Very good. Very good. No, that's, that's good. Very good. So, uh, yeah, if, if you're having it, you don't need everyone to say, oh, we're having no. it, because you know you're having it, right? You know yeah. you're having it. Sure. Absolutely. Okay, good. Um, so here's an interesting oh. one. So yeah, to, this it comes from a particular type of slang, but to have a butcher's. Have a butcher's, yeah, right? right? So yeah. a butcher is a person who chops meat, right? Yeah. And yes. sells and meat, sells. Right? doesn't just chop. <laughs> no, 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 chops the meat and then sells it. Meat, yeah. a meat seller, a butcher. So this is rhyming slang, yeah. right? Originally, Cockney rhyming exactly. slang. So the trick here is to find the rhyme. And originally, this came from butcher's hook. Butcher's hook. Mm -hmm. Now hook rhymes with look so to have a butcher's a butcher's hook means to have a look to have a look for something so now we say have a butcher's yeah. have a butcher's take a look
right? And that, so the Cockney rhyming slang, that particular term, in my opinion, yeah. is one of, if not the most common. So, right. for example, when I was a child, I knew that term. Sometimes maybe I used that term. Other people right. used it. But I had no idea it came from Cockney rhyming slang. I didn't even know right. what that was when I was 10. No. But I knew that expression because I do see lots of these Cockney rhyming slang things, which I think I've literally never heard that. And, <laughs> no, and no one would probably ever use that. But to have a no. butchers, I think, is a really common thing. Right. Yeah. But it's, it's weird. In a sentence, it's quite difficult to use, I think. You could say, have a butcher's, have a butcher's at something, have a butcher's at that. But it's not, it's not like a, it's, you know, in a sentence, it's kind of tricky, no? So, yeah, in fact, the way I always have heard that would be someone saying, like, let me have a look. Right. And they would say, let's have a butcher's. Right. I, again, one that, one that pops into my mind was a friend once, maybe one of the first times I heard it. I wasn't that old and I had my phone and I had something on my phone and he said, let's have a butcher's. Right. So yeah, that would be the only situation I would hear it or ever use it. Right. Um, so yeah. So um, we've got one here from Andrew. Any slang guys, you know, coming from Scotland, Scottish slang. Hmm. Scottish slang. Do I know any Scottish slang? Well, I'm not sure if it's slang, but it's the way they talk where they say like canny instead of like, I can't do, can it. I do that. I can't do that. Yeah. I agree. But as for slang terms, I could ask. They say, they say I, don't they? They don't say yes. Yeah. Scottish exactly. people. They say I. How, yeah. Right? Is this a good life? I. Like, yeah. I. Like that, I guess. That's Scottish slang. Can it? Okay. So this one, I actually, I think I know this, but for Bonnie, is beautiful. Oh, apparently. yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think I, I definitely heard Bonnie, but I'm not. I'm just don't think I knew the actual meaning of it. Like, um, like a bonny lass, yeah, a beautiful girl, right? Beautiful a bonny girl. lass, canny, yeah, yeah. Got it. Um, so we've actually gone well over time here. So well, let's do the last. Come back one, to okay. it again. I'll, I'll try and pick a good one. Okay, here's uh, a good one. Okay, because I've also got a good story behind this. So to stitch someone up. To stitch someone up, yeah. right? So a stitch up, right? Yeah. As a noun, yeah. a stitch it's up, a stitch yeah. up or a verb to stitch someone up. It means to like scam someone or make someone look bad again. Kind of stitch someone up. Yeah, not too dissimilar from to mug someone off. I suppose yeah. it's not too dissimilar, but I think. The thing here, and according to Chat GPT, is to like set someone up and put. So it's like the more of a setup, isn't it? Right. So you're really thinking about this and like to try and get them in that embarrassing situation. Right. Yeah. Um. So it's really just sort of thinking about it though and putting them in that right. position on on purpose, purpose making someone that like, have a bad situation. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Stitch so, up. My example of this, I, when I was 16, I worked at a supermarket mm -hmm. and I had been out the night before having it large, no doubt. Oh, I was no. probably about 17. Knees up. And, up. Yep, knees up. And a friend stayed at my house and I was in the shower. I had my As the Uniform, which was the, the name of the supermarket, and I had my name badge. Right. And also, I didn't really check that. But when I was in the shower, my friend took the badge, flipped it over and wrote a swear word that begins with C and ends with a T on the badge. And I didn't notice. So I just put on my put on my T-shirt and I went I was working on the till and I was like, doo, doo, doo. and the first person <laughs> came and said, oh, that, that's a strange name. And I thought, you never heard the name Martin. That's OK. And then the second person said the same, and I was thinking, this is, this is weird. I've never had this. And then the third yeah. person again, oh, that's a nice name. And then I looked, and then I realised it had this very offensive word on it. So he stitched me up. He planned he that. He stitched you right up. Yeah, stitched you. Martin got stitched up. There you yeah. go. Stitched up. That's Properly nice. stitched up. Properly stitched 
up. Yeah, oh, you've you've written it there. I thought someone wrote that sentence, but then I realised it was you, Martin. <laughs> no. got stitched up. Right. Well, we've been doing thirty-one minutes of British slang here, so right. whew, I don't know how much more I can handle. <laughs> no, no, no. But it was good. I'm feeling full of beans. Really? I think I think what we must do, Martin. I think what the people demand is that we have another go, another time. I think. Yes. A sequel. Sure. Let's do it. Right. Absolutely. Because I've got a list of modern slang words and I'd like to see you as sort of a young, modern, like an urban young. guy, you know, whether you could get some of these modern slang. Young, I'm not so sure. I noticed you used the word baller earlier and I thought, oh, he, he's down with modern slang, oh, baller. baller. <laughs> uh, so. Yeah, definitely. Like we can talk about Riz, we can talk about Bet. We can talk about salty and cap. I don't know. I'm just literally <laughs> reading these know. off the screen. I don't know what these are, right? But we can do that. The people want okay. it, I think. I think. Okay. Give the people what they want. I'm not sure exactly. how much I'll be able to contribute to that. Good. Well, this has been right. a lot of fun. I've enjoyed this. It, it's been a pleasure, Mike. And Absolutely. Yeah, let's do this again soon sometime, okay? Absolutely. Yes. Thank you for watching, yeah. everybody. Thank you, Mike. And yeah. Thanks, everyone. And see you all soon, okay? Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.